What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a review on the Zero Trace. This is a new pen testing gadget, and I'm really excited to do a review on this because I've been playing with it behind the scenes a little bit, and I just love how easy it is to use, and I love the price point and how beginner-friendly it actually is. It has a really cool web UI as well as a cool dashboard, and just altogether a really well-rounded device for the money. If you're looking for an affordable gadget, that doesn't have like a screen on it and it's just pretty simplistic this is pretty much the one and in reality do you think you need a dedicated screen on a device we have our phones on us and 90 percent of the time and we have computers to access or tablets to get into the ui but to me i don't think you really need to have a screen and that really does save you some cost and this little device is packed with tons of features more features than some devices that are cost over four times as much as this device costs. Plus with a flat rate shipping cost between five to six dollars USD, it can pretty much ship anywhere in the world. So in this video, I'm going to jump on the web UI by connecting over a Wi-Fi connection. I'm gonna to connect to it on my Chromebook, I'm gonna connect to it on my phone, and we're going to attack this pen testing computer. So this is an old computer I have just so I can do pen testing, and we're going to attack this device today using the Zero Trace. All right, so right now I have it plugged into the victim computer and i have done no modifications to this at all whatever you see when i jump onto the web ui is exactly how it comes with when you install the firmware so you don't really need to do anything to even get started so let me go ahead and show you that all right so we are connected to the zero trace over a wi-fi connection and then once you do that and you plug in this ip address 192.168.4.1 you get greeted with this nice screen. So right here, you have a couple of options. You can go right to setting, device settings, and you can toggle some of these switches, disable Bluetooth, disable HID startup. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in the settings you can mess around with. You can have, you even have a live keyboard and mouse. So right now, if I wanted to move the mouse around, let's go to the mouse. So right now, if I move this around, you're gonna see on the computer, see the mouse going crazy? That's us with the zero trace controlling the computer with this device right now. Now, if I wanted to, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna type in something here. We're gonna write test. So I'm gonna go ahead and up to here. T E S T, as you see, we wrote test. So you can type things live with this device right here over the web connection. So what we're more more interested on is the actual executor. So starting out, you get a whole bunch of scripts that are already programmed on the device so you can do testing. So one of them is the Windows shutdown um, one. You can log the user out of Windows, fake blue screen, um, invert the mouse buttons. You can do Rick roll Windows. And just to show you this in action, we're gonna pick one of the preloaded scripts it has. We're gonna do the mouse jiggler for five seconds. We're gonna click on the payload we want. It's gonna show you the script there. And then we're gonna hit execute script. And just like that, as you see, there goes the mouse. So right now that zero trace device is controlling that mouse over a Wi-Fi connection. Now you could set up your own scripts with this device. Um, it comes with a couple preloaded ones off the bat. Let's do a shutdown window. So we we'll click on the shutdown windows one. And we're gonna hit execute. And there you go. All be done by this little guy right here. Pretty cool and very simplistic. I mean, this comes preloaded what you just saw. And it's a nice web UI, it's very simple to understand. You can cut and paste scripts here if you wanted to. Um, there's a, they're adding more and more scripts every day in the community on their Discord. So if you wanted to grab some custom ones, they're in there. If you wanted to make your own, you can cut and paste them. But it works. You can see right now that I'm able to connect to it over Wi-Fi connection. So now I basically connected to this over a Wi-Fi connection, logged in with the IP address of 192.168.4.1. And look how nice it looks on the phone. So just similar to the computer version. Now you have to self-destruct, execute script. I can, I can put in custom payloads here, and then let's select the script right now. So we're just gonna shut down this computer. Now that we're connected, let's do, do shut down windows, scroll down, 
execute script. And just like that, we just shut down the computer. So you can get the gist. I don't want to show anything too malicious here. This 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 already comes preloaded with a device, but how simple is that? Another really cool feature is the recon mode. So right now with all the LEDs, sometimes it's a little bright and you don't want it to show what's going on. So if you go back to the executor, there's an actual recon button. Enable recon mode. And as soon as I hit it, you're going to see that the LED will turn off to hide itself a little bit. I think that's really cool. So you have the option to make it more stealthy by just turning off the LEDs and the indicator lights. I think that's really cool. There's an auto start function for the script. So as soon as you plug it in, it can attack the computer on um, the device you want to pen test. There's a self-destruct mode. Um, there's a lot of cool things you get. And again, this is all stuff that comes with the device right off the bat. One other thing worth noting is that it has a little indication um, that you're, if you're still connected or not. So if I was to unplug this, There you go. Now it says I'm disconnected. So I think it's really cool. So it has a little indication to let you know if you're still connected or not. So if you're just wondering, hey, is it still connected? At least you know. So this web interface is just so clean and easy to use. I'm going to show you one other cool feature about this device. I'm going to show you the dashboard. So now I'm no longer connected to the device. But if you go to the dashboard, you can do a couple things here. One thing that you can do that I showed in that previous video is how to update your device. So you could go ahead and click on firmware. Click on that, click on flash firmware, you connect your device, flash firmware, and right there, this is how you update your device. It's all clicks, no coding necessary, just simple plug and play and execute. That's it. So for the update. So if you want to, if you're curious about how to update, I just made a video recently on my channel showing you how to update the zero trace. Super simple, super easy setup. Um, let's go ahead and look through other things. You can look at scripts I was talking about earlier. Um, this is the community adding scripts. Um, you can basically cut and paste these and put it into your zero trace and save it. Uh, script configurator, drawing. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things you can do. Um, announcements, chat, and this links directly to the Discord. Um, tickets, announcements. I mean, they have a little bit of everything on this. Um, on this, and there's the pro announcement. Um, that video should be coming out as well, but the pro edition. Um, so this is really cool. Just the dashboard alone. Now there's even more things that come with the device. So not just the web UI, the control of the device, not just a dashboard. You can actually get a desktop app. So you don't only get a web UI and a dashboard. You can also get desktop applications. They have it for Windows. Linux and for Mac OS. So right here, I'm running on a Windows machine. Go ahead and click on the Zero Trace app. As you see here, it's gonna show that I'm not connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my device. All right, so I'm plugged in. Just make sure you're plugged into the COM port. So you're gonna go ahead and refresh this. It's gonna recognize that I'm plugged into the computer. Hit connect. And now you get all this useful information. You get your license number, your ID, power mode but this one here all the device information it's fantastic so when i had to update my license because i had an older model your guys are not going to have to do this but i used the application and then i with a couple commands i put in the terminal i was able to update my license so having that kind of connection and having that kind of control is really cool when it comes to these devices so and i'm sure they have a lot of uh, information in the discord how to do stuff it's special things that to tweak it but this device is it really it really has it all and i really do like it for under uh, 40 dollars you, you can get this device that's included shipping so and it's super easy i mean you got the web interface you got the desktop application you have the dashboard and uh, we have a really good community in the discord now um this device has a lot of cool things. So here are my final thoughts about this project. It's very rare to find something that fits all my criteria and boxes. It's a affordable. Is it accessible? Is it easy to use? Is it beginner friendly? And it hits all those boxes. Another thing I like about this product, it's not a Kickstarter. It's a device that somebody makes. Um, they can only do 20 at a time because of the fact that it's just one person making these things. I definitely could tell it's a passion project. It's just a great device. I've been using it for a little while now, and it just 
works. Definitely recommend putting this into your pen testing gadget collection at some point. I'm going to be announcing every time they have a restock, especially that we're partnered with them. I get insider information. So I will be following this project as even more gadgets come out as well. So I'm really excited for the future of this company and their products and see what else they do. I love that they're more focused on the firmware, actual user experience rather than the actual hardware. I think that makes a major difference. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. I'll keep you guys up to date when they get restocked, but definitely go check this gadget out for yourselves. Remember, safety is an illusion, and I'll see you guys in the next video.